Hi, and welcome to Crazy Egg. We'll begin with looking at snapshots. Snapshots are what you would set up to track an individual page on your website. And this is what's going to give you your heat map, your scroll map, and five other reports that we offer for every snapshot. As soon as you have more than zero visits under the visit column, your snapshot reports will become available. You'll be able to review the reports as data is collecting or when data has stopped collecting. To open a snapshot report, simply click on the name of the snapshot. The very first report you see here is the heat map report based off of clicks. The heat map report and the scroll map report are the two most common reports that any tool like Crazy Egg is going to offer. But did you know, in Crazy Egg, we don't just track the scroll depth, how far your visitors scroll down. We also track that a single visitor will scroll up, will scroll down multiple times, getting further and further down the page, and then bringing themselves back up once they've seen what your page has to offer. When this happens, you will find a different colored band throughout areas of your page. How you read this is not that people dropped off, but rather less people stop to see the content of your page in this area, and more and more people stop because something caught their eye, causing them to stop scrolling in this area. With over 15 years of experience in the marketplace, we discovered that a lot of visitors or customers were concentrating on the drop-off and losing sight about what people were doing further down on their page. As a result, we created a feature called Show Scroll Map, where simply the scroll map and the heat map are layered together. And now you can see areas such as this where approximately 21% times the total number of your visitors stopped in this area of the page and are showing clear engagement with the call to action button here, or further down where 6% made it down to the bottom of the page. And again, the heat map is showing clear engagement with the links. Where Crazy Egg starts to differ from the competitors on the marketplace is with the rest of our reports. Our confetti report, which is an aggregation of all the clicks made on the page, can be filtered using these 25 different filters or segments to break down and learn more about your visitors. For example, your visitors coming from Brazil, where might they be clicking on your page engaging? Or are they making meaningful engagement, clicking on your navigation, clicking on these cards in this case? or are most of their clicks in dead spaced missed opportunity locations. We also provide UTM tracking, a second way of evaluating the effectiveness of your campaigns. This particular campaign drove a lot of traffic for us, but as you can see from the confetti report, there are only three clicks made on the entire page from this traffic, and two of them were not as meaningful as this particular click that sent them to more information in our website. The overlay report is a very powerful report. It's the first report that will tell you the exact number of clicks on the very specific element, in this case, the marketing link. It also gives you access to that same filter that the confetti has, allowing you to build the profile of who are the people that made up this 140 clicks. The overlay report also comes with an additional filter Right now, we're looking at the live filter, typically clicks on elements that do something for your visitors. The other are your dead space missed opportunity clicks that will let you see the exact number of clicks and do the same type of drill down building the profile. You may be asking yourself, why would I want to look at the dead space missed opportunity clicks? Clearly, there's no link there. They must be mistaken, my visitors. Check out one of our YouTube videos on how to analyze your snapshots to learn more as to the value of evaluating this type of information. The Both tab combines live and other clicks, and this now becomes a UI UX design report. Again, checking out that video on how to analyze your snapshots will show you a very clear example 
of the benefit of using the both. One of our most technical reports is the list report. It will list by element everything that's been clicked on. Everything we can visually see on this page will show up under visible. And anything you can't see on this page that's been clicked on will show up. One of the key things to know about our snapshots is by default, we track every single visit as well as every single click made on the page. So drop down menus as I have here will show up if they're clicked on by clicking on not visible. We also have this tool called interactive mode. This will load up my web page as it appears today. And what it's currently loading up is the heat map data. Once this is fully loaded, I will be able to interact with my page, such as my drop down menus, and see very clearly which of the sublinks are being clicked on the most. Once I know this, I can go back to the list report and easily locate the element that was clicked on, learn the number of clicks. If I export this report, I will get additional information such as how many were new versus returning visitors that made up the 86 clicks. Off to the right hand side here, we have the first five cards that are your page performance report. We track the median page load speed and give you the breakdown the slowest page load speed with the breakdown. If you have video recordings enabled, we will have video recordings tagged with slowest page load. Rage clicks, which are clicking on the same element multiple times in less than two to three seconds. And then a very useful drill down. So I can drill into the confetti, isolate for the rage clicks and see where the rage clicks across my entire page are occurring. I can then click into the overlay report and be taken to the exact element that has the highest number of rage clicks. This is a link to video recordings that have been tagged with rage clicks. Dead clicks is a ratio, a ratio of all the clicks made on your page, how many were on active elements versus dead spaced or missed opportunity elements. The same breakdown as under rage clicks exists here. Now page bounce. Page bounce for us is more about engagement. When the visitor comes to your page, it opens up in their browser, but they don't make any clicks, nor do they scroll your page at all. This will be counted as a page bounce. And our last report in our seventh report is total errors. Now total errors only works if you have video recordings enabled. What it will do is listen for any error events that are showing up under the console tab. So for example, if a visitor was to visit your page, have developer tools open as I have here, and if there were any red errors showing up, we would capture this under total errors. That's what these are examples of. If I click into any of them, I'll be taken to more details about that error, or I can go to the errors dashboard or watch some video recordings. Let's now go check out the total errors. I'm going to go back to my main dashboard. Errors. And now I can see all of my errors in the last 30 days across my entire website. If I click on the name of the error, I'll go into more details about that error, such as the errors name as defined under the console, when it was last seen, when we first detected it, and then a number of video recordings in the last 30 days where from a non-technical point of view, I could go watch these individual visitors and see how impactful this error has been on their visit. From the video recording, I can notice if it's a negative impact or not. Where the real power comes from though is the details button. Clicking on the details button will show me all the information I need in order to reproduce this error and ultimately solve for it. Most of the time you'll want to pass this along to your web developers so that they have this information. It includes handy information such as the version of the browser that they were using in combination with the operating system and device type. Now let's go have a look at video recordings. I'm going to click the play button here, and this will take me to the video recording player in Crazy Egg. 
From here, I'll be able to watch the video recording, see what this particular visitor was doing. In video recordings, we will automatically add tags for certain events such as dead clicks or errors. By starting to type, you can add your own tag that will show up in this grayish color. Or with a little bit of coding on your side, you'll be able to tell our system to add certain tags when the certain events take place. With all of our features, you are able to add comments so that you can communicate with team members, which are unlimited within our system, or simply add a comment so that anyone else seeing this video recording will be able to see the comment and reply to it. With all of our features, you are able to share out video recording, snapshot reports, A-B test results, Simply copying the share link and putting it in an email or a Slack message will allow it to be shared. If I click on the Crazy Egg logo, I'll be returned to what is the recordings dashboard. Clicking on Customize Recordings in the top right hand corner will bring you to our Recordings Configuration page. By default, unlike snapshots, with video recordings we sample. Page targeting will initially start on record a session when a visitor lands anywhere on your site and with the uniform sampling rate. This takes the number of video recordings your subscription allows each month and divides it by the number of days in the calendar month, giving you in this case approximately 167 recordings per day. This ensures that you are capturing your typical user journey and experiences as well as some of those edge cases. When troubleshooting or you've launched a new feature, one of the things we recommend is page targeting. You can specify a number of different pages on your website. Using the asterisk, you will be able to use a wildcard feature. And then the sampling rate we recommend is consecutive. Record, say, the next 50 visitors who hit any of these pages and ensure that there's a video recording on their journey. Likewise, we have custom where you can specify, give me 100 recordings over, say, the next two days. This is great for campaigns. With no sampling, you may run out of video recordings before the end of the month. When this happens, no further re video recordings will be created and you have an option to either upgrade to the next subscription plan, contact us about adding on additional video recordings, or wait until the first of the month when both page views and video recordings will reset. For privacy and security concerns, by default we do mask all input fields. You have the ability to specify a number of pages that you want to skip during the recording, which will mask that entire page throughout the recording or end a recording when a visitor hits that page. For any elements that we are not masking that you prefer to have masked, there are two ways to add them. You can add the element by specifying the CS selector name or add in the URL of the page and simply select that element by clicking on it. To return to the recordings dashboard, simply click on back to recordings. From here, you can filter a number of different ways to get at the recordings that you're after, or by clicking on the name of the starting page that the recording is triggered from, you can access the play button to watch a number of these recordings. Crazy Egg offers a number of features beyond snapshots and video recordings. We have A-B testing, traffic analysis, as well as surveys. To learn more about Crazy Egg, the best way to do this is to get started with our 30-day trial. Simply sign up or reach out to sales at crazyegg.com and we'll help you get started. Thank you.